Hey guys, Lance Van Zandt here with Van Zandt Controls. Valve automation, flow measurement, instrumentation. What we wanted to visit with today is, is AT Controls. So we're one of the largest AT Controls distributors that there is. Um, AT Controls has an array of products. We've been very, very successful with their products. Many, many of you guys know AT Controls. Um, I have a buddy of mine and regional sales manager extraordinaire, uh, Jeremy Pitzel, here with me. Um, he's a buddy of mine and, and a, a great support for us um, and, and also very helpful with us, um, with you guys. You know, if you guys have need factory assistance and, and factory help, Jeremy's always very responsive and, and helpful um, uh, for us, for you guys. But, but AT Controls is a, is a, um, a stable product. Um, I've, I've known AT Controls for many, many years and uh, they're just, a, a, just a, great, a great vendor of ours and, and uh, do a very great job and have very great products. And um, I have an array of different products here that you see here on the screen, um, from ball valves to control valves, butterfly valves. This is a segmented control valve. We stock these up to 12 inch, full stainless steel, 150 class flanged. Uh, we have these in stock. We have a lot of resilient seated butterfly valves that you'll see here. Uh, we've got some just different manual ball valves, threaded and flanged, that, that we'll keep in stock. This right here is a high pressure valve. Uh, it could be for a shutdown on a well, ESD valve. We have these in stainless and in carbon steel by stainless. They have peak seats. They're ready for 6,000 PSI. Uh, this is a very, very great valve for high pressure. Here you'll notice this right here looks like a traditional ball valve, just a stainless steel 150 class flanged ball valve. But this right here is what will be called a V-notch valve. So I know a lot of people get, get um, uh, I don't know if you have if you've had that issue, but you know customers get get a little confused with segmented V ball and V notch V ball. They just kind of say V ball, exactly. right? And and so that's one thing that we you know just a clarification here. This is a segmented V ball. You can call you can call both of these V balls, mm -hmm. um, but this is a flanged uh, looks face, same face to face as a ball valve. So if you had a valve in place that was a ball valve, just a block valve, and and you wanted to make that into a throttling control application this is the perfect valve for that so we call those a v notch valve and the the notch can be or the v the degree of the v cut can be 30 60 or 90 off the shelf and then we also do custom cuts okay. to re reach whatever cv that you're looking for and on a segmented v ball valve are those pretty much those are pretty much standard right yes, you can't really get a degree now no. what you can get with these is if you have a flow that's that might be a little noisy or a little cavitation right you guys do have in the valve where you can put an attenuator that's is that correct? Yep. Yep. So now I might just pop that open so you guys can see that. Um, but if you notice, right there inside of that valve, inside of that back of that V, that segment, there's a threaded hole in there, which means that you can put an attenuator. Which do you guys do? You guys keep those? Yes, have those we, keep them, we keep them on the shelf. So, so, so you'll run your sizing through Van Zant, and we'll decide whether you can take one of these right off the shelf, or if you have a need for an attenuator, based on the service. You know, this is 150 class. You're going to get very solid and very good shut off on 150 class application, whether it's a segmented V-ball or whether it's a V-notch V-ball control valve. So, so we want to try to try to avoid that where you want to use two valves. You want to use a shutdown or ESD valve and then also use a control valve. Um, but, but does this, now this, this V-notch valve, well, another thing that makes the V-notch valve unique is that the segment, you know, these valves are flanged. Um, AT Controls makes these flanged. Now, if you want a V-notch valve, you can replace a V-notch valve with the same face-to-face -face as a ball valve. Mm -hmm. um, but now this valve doesn't just come flanged though, right? It's other configurations like- Threaded and socket weld. Thre yeah. Threaded and socket weld. So you can do, we, so AT Controls keeps those in the inventory. We, I think we keep some threaded, uh, two and three inch. Uh, and actually I think one inch. One inch, two inch, and three inch, full stainless, 60 degree uh, V-notch valves, threaded design in stock, but you guys make flanged, threaded in socket weld. That's right. Okay. Yep. I mean, you guys are making, it's not even just carbon steel or stainless, right? You guys mm -hmm. have, you right. Know, what are some of the other? Alloy 20, Hastoy C. Okay. Um, we're talking down the road of maybe doing super duplex. So okay. Um, okay. there's some exciting you know, metallurgies that are out there for different applications, depending on how severe your service is. And, and you guys have a lot of, you know, one thing that's great about, about AT Controls, which it's a great partnership between AT Controls and Van Zandt Controls is, you know, Van Zandt Controls, our motto is, is first to quote, quote first to deliver and we have reliable service. So out of all locations, we have service technicians who, who are happy to help with commissioning support, training, um, or if you have any issues, have, have, have our guys come out there and help you do retrofits or help you guys in the field you know, troubleshoot or help get your process online with AT Control's uh, product or other product. That supports our motto, so responsiveness and availability are a couple of our company's pillars. 
Yeah. So we keep large inventory in Cincinnati and Stafford. That's Texas, what I was going to ask Houston. you. So both both facilities, mm -hmm. um, Stafford and in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati. Ohio. Valve actuation and controls. What allows us to do what Lance just said, be able to deliver full actuated packages in days, not weeks. So it's a big advantage to the customer. So. Yes, sir. And so so tremendous in inventory at AT Controls and also Van Zandt Controls. We're one of the largest stocking distributors for AT Controls. We keep a tremendous amount of, of sec, you know, all the stuff you see in front of you, a lot of different actuators. You know, here we keep, I don't have a uh, high performance butterfly valve, but we stock high performance butterflies also from AT Controls. They have a tremendous amount of inventory of, of high performance, um, but, but high performance butterfly valves. This right here is a resilient seated. So it's got a rubber seat. This is Viton with a stainless steel disc, stainless steel stem. It's a ductile iron body. It's a lug body. Um, and then if you notice, we've got a red actuator here. And we've got a letter, letter, yellow actuator here. And Jeremy, if you wouldn't mind, you know, explaining kind of. So this is our weatherproof actuator, which is uh, we make our model numbers very simple at AT Controls. WE means uh, weatherproof, and then the yellow version here is an XE, which means that our that's our explosion proof version. So we keep these on the shelf both in Cincinnati and Stafford. Um, these are very robust actuators, um, proven. Yeah. Time and time again by some pretty large end users. Yeah, the and we, we've had we've had you know we have one customer which won't mention any customer names. You guys know who you are, <laughs> but but we have some customers that that you know um, we have a, a very colorful actuator that's out there that has planetary gears in it, and so those planetary gears is you know you have your your gearing and so your actuator is those gearing are is is synchroning together right all those gears to to create the amount of torque and to move that valve. Well, one you know. That actuator manufacturer, their gears sometimes have, have issues rounding off or stripping and then you, your actuator will sound like it's moving but it's not turning the valve because the gears are stripped out and broken. Well, what's nice about these actuators is these are actually worm gear. So I, have, I haven't never, I've never had, you know, I don't have any wood, I guess I do have some wood right here. I ha haven't had an issue with a mechanical failure with with a, with an AT Controls Triac actuator because of the worm gear. They're just extremely it's a, robust. It's a metal worm actuator. gear that pre prevents backlash. It's a, like you said, we just don't have problems with them in the field. So it doesn't it, happen. And what, what we, another thing that Van Zandt controls, which AT Controls has a tremendous amount of inventory, fast response, fast support. We actually keep modulating boards in stock and some boards in stock so we can actually, you know, do, you know, fast response on changing out boards and different things like that. We've done training with AT Controls and AT Controls has helped us make sure all of our technicians are trained and up to speed and have the aptitude to be able to make those modifications and changes to the to your guys actuators out in the field or add you know if we have an actuator in stock that's just open closed we can easily because of the training we've got from AT controls be able to put a modulating board in there so these actuators come open closed or modulating but we have some inventory where we can we can make the change 